ओम नमो भगवते वसुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वसुदेवाय ओम माय बाउ टू द लॉर्ड वसुदेवा जय टू यू फ्रेंड्स we've talked about if you're if you do leave your spiritual struggle if your spiritual path you can't leave the spiritual path as you've been understood everybody in the world is on the spiritual path but people don't know it so if you leave it consciously if you know that you're going away from your ideals other warriors and the warrior means your own higher tendencies they look down on you and uh, you want to learn how to go in the direction of the heights and then your whole self will approve and then whenever your whole being approves of what you're doing then you can accomplish so much more but if there's that self doubt that self judgment that thought that oh you're not living up to your own highest you've blown it you're not doing as well as you could you've got higher potentials you're not living to most of the world is full of people like that and they look kind of dead in their later years that's why jesus said let the dead bury their dead don't be a living corpse and the way to be a living human being is to get your whole life force going in the same direction so he's saying that your own higher qualities will will uh, um despise you and assume that you've avoided fighting out of fear but uh the let's see did i read this one other warriors will assume that you have avoided fighting out of fear those who have thought highly of you heretofore will come to regard you slightingly and then chapter then stands at 36 says your foes will speak your name with contempt and will ridicule your progress could anything for a warrior be more painful well this is the great pain that uh, you do you do draw to yourself the contempt of your own self other people's opinions don't matter too much but they have some purpose and the reason we're living in society is that by the feedback others give us we also understand somebody may think that i uh, got away with that theft but when other people see him as a th- as a thief they'll avoid him and that will certainly help hurt him to some extent but the outer the outer world and the people around you are really only symbols of your inner self your inner nature and you are as it says here in the geet a whole nation of qualities how could all those qualities come about through genes or dna or even through the reactions to the things of this life there's so much more going on in every person's consciousness than one life could possibly have produced there's there are layers and layers and layers of consciousness and uh, all of these are a part of yourself now if you fail those aspects of your nature which have encouraged you to grow will uh, feel that you have failed out of fear you've run away and they will scold you but also your enemies you think they would welcome you to the fold but they don't and in this world also somehow people who have failed spiritually even worldly people sort of they don't have much faith in them if they if a person can't be true to his own ideals how what can he be true to so you've really completely blown it if you if you do blow it i urge you always to remember that no matter how many mistakes you make as master put it a saint is a sinner who never gave up and if you will keep no matter how many times you fall just dust yourself off get up and try again god will always be on your side god and satan are realities and some people have actually experienced i saw a movie it's a very good movie if you never have seen it do see it about the life of padre pio and satan comes to him also in the form of a, a dog that sort of is after him but these things these things are real and he got beaten up sometimes 
Yogananda was one time in a, the Regent's Hotel in Bombay, and uh, all of a sudden this form came out of the wall and sat on his chest, and he said, where is your God now? And Yogananda said, he's right inside me. He wasn't at all afraid. And this, uh, this entity tried to take, him o take over his consciousness. And uh, then uh, Master just made him go away. But it turned out there had been a suicide in that room some time back. But these things are realities. In the astral world, you see them. In this world, some people see them. Most people don't. Many people feel them. But remember that if you make a mistake, it's not just you. There is the force of Maya, the force of Satan, of delusion. It is a conscious force. And so don't just blame yourself. Know that this thing is there. And objectifying it like that will help you to overcome it. Because as Yogananda said in Autobiography of a Yogi, thoughts are universal universally, not individually rooted. You think thoughts according to the level of consciousness that you're on. When you raise that level of consciousness, suddenly you see things in completely different ways. And if you live in a lower level of consciousness, then these darker kinds of thoughts will come to you. So that if you start thinking lustful thoughts, then other lustful thoughts will be added to you until the point where you're just completely absorbed in them. Or if you think in terms of anger and, and revenge, people who develop this desire for revenge, it takes over them. It really begins, it's a form of possession. I remember there was an experience I had many years ago, very interesting. It was, I, I was new on the path, and I had heard about these entities that come and take over, possess people, and I was intrigued. It was all completely new to me. So I thought, well, I'd like to find out about this. I'd like to experience it. So one night, I can still see it quite clearly in my mind. I was at a party, and then I suddenly thought, it's time to meet a disembodied spirit. And I left the room. I remember entering a room. The, there, was, there was dim light just from the door behind me, and I was about to turn the light on. And I thought, no, I'm not afraid. I'm going to face this. And suddenly the floor began to heave. I can see the floorboards and the window. I saw this floor with these floorboards heaving, and then suddenly I felt myself being called, pulled out of the window into a sort of gray mist, and I heard the sound of om, and it was a very dull sound. It was, it was a, a very unpleasant sound, the, that aspect of the cosmic vibration that creates lower vibrations, lower hells, and so on. And I began to feel that this entity was think, trying to take my consciousness away from me, and I was fighting it, but I wasn't sure I'd win. And finally I said, Master! And the moment I said, Master, I woke up and everything was fine, but I could feel the influence of it, and I just had to sort of shake it off, and I sat in meditation. That same night, somebody in the main building of where I was living had a strange experience. He was sitting, he was in, in sleep, I should say, when this pounding all over the door Suddenly he shouted, there was a voice shouting, saying, Hello, hello, who's in there? And he said, Gene, who, Gene, who? Gene Haupt. I don't want you, I want Don Walters. That was my name before I took Sanyas. And he heard these steps storming to the door and slamming the door. And a few moments later, I had that experience. These things are real. And this is one reason it's good to have a guru. But remember that if you keep your mind uplifted, those thoughts will not come to you. That power will not come to you. And if it does come to you, say that it's not me. It is the cosmic delusion, and I am not that. If you cling courageously to the right side, this is what Arjuna is trying to get Krishna, I mean, what Krishna is trying to get Arjuna to do. Live for the right and fight for the right. Fight not with weapons, but with determination and zeal and aspiration. And you will come out in the end. You cannot but. Joy to you.